Okay, I'm so excited. I think I finally figured out how to check homoscedasticity for a dependent variable. You want to end up with a plot that looks like this. This is a homoscedastic plot. This is good. Um, the way you arrive at this plot has evaded me for quite some time, and today I just figured it out. So I'd love to share. What you do is you go do a regression, linear, and let me get rid of this stuff here. Let's say I want to see the homoscedasticity of uh, joy when predicted by um, play. I'd go to plots, and then in the Y, I'd put the dependent. That's this top one here. And then in X, I'd put the Z residual. That's the, the errors, essentially. And then hit continue and OK. And then I'm going to scroll down, and I get this. So the question is, do I have homoscedasticity or heteroscedasticity? It's homoscedastic if, when you plot a fit line, let me throw a fit line in there. Here we go. Close, close. All right. When you plot a fit line, does the amount of error or the distance from the line to the dots tend to increase as you move further up this line or decrease? Does it not stay consistent? That's the question. If it stays roughly consistent, which is what we're observing here, there might be a slight coning here where it opens up a little bit towards the top, but it's not much. But if it stays roughly consistent, then you have homoscedasticity. If, on the other hand, it tends to bow outward, so you have errors way out here and way out here um, towards the top of this line, then you have heteroscedasticity. And that's how you do it. Yay!